Yo, what's going on, PokéChamps? Do I have a fun one for you guys here today? Today, we're diving into a African-based region, that being the region of Loweka. And I know you guys love these type of videos. So that being said, let's dive into the Loweka region. Now, when it comes to this Pokemon game, more specifically being called Pokemon Order and Pokemon Chaos, within this story, you are royalty and you have a twin sibling. Your father, he's the champion of the region. The role of champion is not just a title in Loweka, but a responsibility as ruler of the region. The professor is not only your uncle, but the antagonist and the shadow leader of Team Pyramid. Team Pyramid is a cult with good intentions, but questionable methods. They want to follow the ancient ways and prioritize Pokemon and the environment over people. Pokemon types referred as tribes to create a greater sense of family of Pokemon of same affinity. The theme of this game is going to be family and reign. While the region is huge on ancient traditions, it also falls within the realm of always being advanced with its technology, with things like the Rotom watch and the versatile Rotom board for transportation. You'll also be given many tools within your Pokemon journey, like the Soul Ink and a Soul Stone, which will give you a brand new variant called Rebirth Forms. This region is inspired by all of Africa, including Egypt, as we'll play some of those traditional folklores and traditions that you guys have either grown knowing or will learn about, as this will be represented in the character's clothing, the region itself, and the Pokemon. I'm super excited to show you guys the region of Loweka, and not only that, but show you guys all the Pokemon that they have to offer. That being said, if you guys wanna see more of these type of videos, I want you guys to smash that like button, share the video out, make this video reach out to everyone, okay? And don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new, and let's check out this Pokedex. All right, so kicking it off, we have the grass type starter, that being Giru, it is adorable. I love it, it looks awesome. As this thing evolves into Okapi, and Okapi looks freaking adorable. I love the little bangs on the side, I love the hair, and it's kind of turning into a giraffe. It almost has like a, like a palm tree neck. I like it, I like it a lot. It evolves into Timber Raph, oh! Now this is cool. Now this is this is cool. And I like the fact that he added the the little aesthetic of like the Waba Fett like totem and it has uh Natu or Zatu, I can't remember which one it is, and then Snorlax, that's super cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. It evolves into Timberath Rebirth Form. Again, these are gonna have special forms for the starters being rebirth forms, and it looks like the totem changes. You have different Pokemon. I can't tell what the one at the bottom is, but I see um, you know, knock down some other Pokemon and it has more of these flowers blooming on it. This looks phenomenal. This looks, this looks incredible. I really, really like it. Yo, next up we have the fire starter being Hissier. I love the name. I love the name and I love the way it looks. This looks, this looks phenomenal. It has, it's so simple. It's so simple in design. It's, yo, this is cool. This is really cool. As it evolves, and kind of keeping with the aesthetic of, of the snake with the Zodiac, right? As it evolves, it turns into La Viper, and La Viper looks cool! Fire Poison, dope typing, I like it a lot. And it, yo, it's so simple, but so clean. And the purple, with the with like the red orange, nice. It evolves into, whoa, Cobra. The Fire Poison Snake. Now this looks like a beast, and I love the purple fire. This thing looks awesome. And let's see that rebirth form. Oh! Look at it! Yo! The fi Yo, the fire. The fire is what gets me. The fire is what gets me with this form. This is this is incredible. Next up is the water starter. Yo! It's, yo! This thing is cute! We have Jin Fan, and Jin Fan looks adorable as it evolves into Damp Fan, who is a water and psychic type. I like it, like the typing a lot. And it's an elephant. You can't be mad with an elephant. I mean, come on. As it fully evolves into Hydrophant. And again, the colors. The colors and, and the circles and design is, is incredible. I really like this. I like this a lot. Dude. This is clean. And let's see that rebirth form. Whoa. Now that's cool. It legit comes in right in the wave of water. This, yo, that's dope. Now that's dope. That's dope for real. Yo, that's that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. But guys, if it was me, I'm gonna have to say I'm choosing the fire starter. I really like it. I'm not a huge fan of like snakes in the real world, but this is a cool, this is a cool, this is a cool Pokemon, okay? Okay? Hissier, 
Leviper, the names are dope, and Fire Poison, a really great typing. So I would definitely choose the Fire Starter if it was me. Cobra is all mine. It's all mine. But let me know what you guys would choose. Let's hop over to the main Pokedex. All right, so looks like we're kicking off with the Pikachu clone, and this thing looks adorable, okay? Uh, right here being a Tenetric, and Tenetric looks cute. Really hitting more of the poison typing, Electric Poison, which is something I don't think we have in Pokemon, actually. Um, I like this a lot. Cool Pikachu clone, and I love the really spiky hair. Super adorable. Next, we have ourselves Scar- uh, wait, like Scarab, like Scarabee. Okay, Scarabee. Oh, Scarabee, I like it a lot. A little Scarab Pokemon as it evolves into Scaracoff and ooh, Bugging Ghost? I mean, we don't have enough of that typing. That's really cool. And next we have Scarab, and Scarab being pretty much, to me it gives off like huge uh, Sheninja, Ninjask vibes, but on a even doper scale. Um, I love the colors, everything is so vibrant, I love it. Next up we have Monkey, yes, yes, on the team. You're on the team, Monkey is amazing, yo. I love Monkey. I like Monkey. It evolves into a <laughs> Bamoon. Turns into a fire. Oh, a fairy fighting type. Yes. This is awesome. This is awesome. And I would love to see the shiny of this thing. I would love to see the shiny of this Pokemon right here. And it, whoa, it evolves one more time too into Moon Drill. Even becoming more ancient and really fitting that, you know, kind of African aesthetic. I, yo. This is awesome. Already, we're not even into the Pokedex like that. This is phenomenal. Next up, we have Chibi. <laughs> Yo, Chibis. That's dope. I love it. Simple. Like the bird type. It turns into Artibus. And Artibus, ooh, Flying Psychic, which is something that we recently got in, um, of course, with Articuno. We've had with Natu and Zatu, stuff like that. But a type we need more of. This looks awesome. It has that kind of weird middle stage. And then we have... The uh, the thesis. I like the thesis. This is super dope. Really smart, you know, psychological, psychic Pokemon. Um, it looks very smart, and I love this Pokemon. Looks like it'd be tall too, by the way. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Next up, we have. <laughs> it's like a gerbil, Jabine, being a normal type. I'm guessing it turns into a normal grass type. I like it. For being like the starting rodent, this is actually pretty adorable. And of course, it turns into Herbal, the normal grass type Pokemon. And it looks like it has a little bit of a toot, but I like it. I like the confidence. Yo, I love that. Yo, okay. Dalmut looks freaking awesome. It's a it's a Dalmatian Pokemon. That is freaking phenomenal. Being a Dark type, which is no, which is interesting. I thought you would choose normal Dark type, but this is great. Yo, what does it turn into? Yo, um, so it turns into Roar Sash, Roar Shax. Um, pretty much being a dark and poison type, fitting more of that poison is spending. I'm gonna tell you, man, th there's a lot of poison rocking through this region, so make sure you got your antidotes ready. But this looks incredible. Rorschach, like the like the DC hero, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is one of the coolest lines I've seen so far. Uh, next we have Heracat. Yo, little royalty cat psychic as it evolves into whoa, past Sphinx. Okay. And it's rocking that Yaw Mask on the top. Oh yeah, Yaw Mask has to make an appearance. Yo, this is phenomenal. Yo, I don't even like cats, but this is cool. Next up we have what we call, ooh, Percushel, Percushel, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, normal type, little drum, you know, little drum action. And it turns into, ooh, tempo. I like this, I like the name, yo. Almost like it has to be a sound based Pokemon, right? I like this. It'd be cool to have like beat up, um, uproar. You know, this would be cool. Like this is this is cool. And then next we have a Spadream. Ooh, a spider. Okay, not a huge fan of those, but Spadream. Bug Psychic. Awesome typing. This thing looks awesome. It turns into whoa. That's kind of crazy. And it's always funny when I see spider Pokemon because it has like two faces on it. It's kind of crazy. Uh, this one uh, being Night Morark. Night Morark. Hopefully I'm saying that right as well. But I, I mean, this thing could be a beast. This thing is going to be a beast. Whew. Next we have, ooh, I like this one. Pembat. Pembat is awesome. Grass and flying type. I can already see what's going to happen. Fruit bat type Pokemon. I like this. This is cool. I would add it to my team since I'm choosing the fire poison type. I would catch this right here, being permbat for grass and flying. Cover so many typing. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! 
Jung Glide. Phenomenal. Dude, yo. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is it. This is vibe. This, this is a whole vibe right here. The, you're on the team. Let's go. Next, we have Natayk. Yo. <laughs> yo, he's got a little mask on. Yo, yes. This is awesome. Natayk looks super dope. It turns into uh, Triberian and Triberian. Yo, this, yo, on the team. You're on the team. You're being caught. You're on the team. This is awesome. This, yo, this is, yo, this is awesome. I love, I love both of these designs. I love both of these designs. Next we have Voodoo. Ooh, ooh, a little, vo little voodoo action. A little, little voodoo action. I like it. It turns into Voodoo. This thing looks so dope. This looks so dope. I, yo, I love just the connection to, you know, African culture, e Egyptian culture, all in this region so far. It's been just amazing. Uh, and then we have ourselves, ooh. Like what? Yo, he looks crazy. Yo, he looks. Yo, I, I love it because you can see the energy flowing through it. Yo, this is kind of crazy. This this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. It evolves. Oh, it has a female and male version. So this one's gonna be P Shock, the female version. It looks super majestic again having that energy flow through it is super cool and then it has the other form of being a p-shock male form which has all the feathers sticking up electric flowing through it yo this is incredible and i like it because the you know the female has a shorter hair the male has a longer hair with the longer feathers like oh come on this is dope then we have uh Mirion sect super interesting like a stick bug right right I don't really like bugs that much, but this looks cool. This looks really cool. This looks really cool. Then we have ourselves a Versquito, which of course being a poison type. Again, get your antidotes for this region, man. And being a bug type as well. We have Locus. Yo, Locus. <laughs> Lo it's like Locus and Locus. Uh, or, or sorry, it's Low Chaos, but it's like Locus and Chaos. That's awesome. I love the name. Bug Dark type looks phenomenal. I love it. And it yo, what is this? What is this? Is this like um? Is this like wishy washy? Swarm form. Yo, that is dope. Giving some more love to the bug Pokemon is always awesome, and giving them some strong ones is great too. That is awesome. We have ourselves, uh, Al Egypt, Al Egypt. Hope I'm saying that right as well. Water dra dragon. Dragon. Okay. Ooh. Crocodile, okay, Crocodile looks super dope. I like the little extension of like the colors and, and again, Water Dragon's a great typing. And then we have a sort of Dirt Hog being a ground type. I like it, simple. It turns into, ooh, Warbore, the ground and fighting type. I think this is incredible. This is awesome. Ground and fighting is actually a typing we do not have in the Pokemon world. So this is phenomenal. This is a great way to use that typing. Next up, we have a Zap. Yo, I'm loving the electric type Pokemon. The colors, the energy, like it, it's it's the subtle brown with the bright yellow and the bright blue. It's yes, this is amazing. And it evolves into Zapel. Oh, this is awesome. Yo, okay. I, I, on the team. You're on the team. You're on the team. It's perfect. We're, next up, have oh, you're on the team. I don't even see what your evolution is. You're your little monkey. I, I'm the monkey king. Okay. Yo, Primatot, Primatot, you're on the team. Rock and Fighting type. Again, another unique typing. It evolves into, ooh, Control. Okay, it has like this kind of caveman feel. It has like the hair sticking up. Okay, like a little Flintstone Pokemon, you know? It evolves into, ooh, it's like a, it's like an ogre. Trigola? Fighting and Rock type? It, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much a caveman. It's a caveman monkey. It's, yo, this is dope. This is dope. Next up, we have Pixero and Pixero Fairy Ice. Looks majestic. Looks gorgeous. It has like little makeup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's adorable. It turns into a Yumber, which is like almost. Oh, is this like our Gardevoir line? Is this like our Gardevoir line? This is dope. Uh, being also Fairy Ice. And his last form is going to be. Ooh, Frigliffy. That's what I kind of think it is. Frigliffy? That looks. Oh, like, that looks great. Oh. That looks great. Fairy Ice. I don't think we have a Fairy Ice type, do we? I don't think so. I could be, I could be, I could be, I could be mistaken, but it, again, gives off pretty much, this is like your, your Ralts line. This is like your Ralts line. 
you know, your got to tell line. This is exactly what this is. Phenomenal though. Next up we have ooh poison normal, but it looks it's 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 quatrad. It looks like a music note though. It looks like a music note. It evolves into fregato. Okay, you know like bravado. I like it. Fregato. This is cool. This is cool. If I didn't already choose the fire poison type, I'd probably scoop this up. As it evolves into altoed. Okay, I like it. Oh, and Baritoad, so there's a male and a female. Okay, so female is alto for like alto, and the you know your baritones like it, it's baritone. Yo, this is yo, this is hot. This is hot. Yo, this is good. This is good. I like this a lot. Next up, we have whoa. What are you? Why are you a bug type? You're like a bear, like Winnie the Pooh. I would, I would, I would capture you and name you Winnie. I would capture you and name you Winnie. This would be Cybertail, and Cybertail evolves into Combat. What? A bug and fighting type, but you look like a bear or an otter. What? Or a badger for that matter. Why bug? Why bug? I love the aesthetic though. You're on the team. You're on the team. Next up we have Ar uh, Ar Arsavok. Arsavok? Fire type. Arsavok. Or like, you know, oh wow. Bom Bomadrillo. Bakugo type Pokemon right here. Like if Bakugo was in the Pokemon anime, right here, all him. This is dope. This is super cool. Next up, we have ourselves High Rocks. Um, High Rocks looks adorable. Rock Pokemon as it has turned into a Dash Stone. I like it. Simple Rock type kind of mammal. It's it's adorable. It has rocks on its you know back. You can throw them rocks at you. You know, super easy. And of course, we have our next one up being a Squirm who evolved into Monsworm. I like it. It's still a worm though. Reminds me of the worms. From Spongebob. That's exactly what it reminds me of. The, the bugs from Spongebob. Next up we have a Perchu, which is like a piranha type Pokemon. Uh, as it turns into, oh, fero ferocious. I like it, ferocious. That's pretty cool. And good way on like the puns of names. Water Dark type looks super cool. I like it a lot. Uh, next up we have, have ew, Angwing, which is like an anchor flying type bird. I like it. It's, yo, it's tail's a hook. It's tail's a hook. Yo. It turns into Roiler, which actually uses, yo, that's dope. So it's almost like a fishing Pokemon. It's a fishing bird Pokemon who uses the different types of bait to bring the Pokemon in and capture them. This is a whole prey scenario. And then we have Nurse Seed, which looks super dope. Like your, uh, your Officer Jenny, uh, Officer Jenny, oh my goodness. Nurse Joy type Pokemon, Nurse Joy, as it evolves into, ooh, Aloe Vita. I'll, I'll elevate. What am I talking about? Elevate looks super dope. Again, another Nurse Joy Pokemon. Then we have, ooh, Fire Grass, for Lily. I like it. A little hot, spicy flower. As it turns into Pyroza. This looks dope. This looks dope. This, yo, this looks dope. If you, if you got the water starter, this is perfect. This is perfect because, yo, now you have a grass and fire type. Come on. That's dope. Next up we have Lizator being a dragon type. I'm guessing this is our pseudo legendary. It evolves into Nicator. Ooh, it really, it really expanded. And last but not, oh wait, it's not. We have our next one being Cryptite, a, uh, a ghost and ground type. Okay. As evolved into Haunta. Yeah. It's little mummy. Again, fitting those big Egyptian and, and African vibes are just, that's dope. That's super dope. Next we have Harpony, and the Harpony being a normal fairy type fits super well, and I think a typing we don't have as well, so fantastic. As it evolves into Serenoise, I like it. As it serenades you, it, it reduces noise, I love it. As someone who is creating their own region right now, this is fantastic, I love it. Next we have, oh, Gnuso? Gnuso, hopefully I'm saying that right. Ice and ground type, I like it, little moose type Pokemon, and hopefully I'm on the right species. Is it a moose? Uh, as it evolves into, ooh, Childebeast, Ice and Ground type. Yo, this looks dope. This looks really cool. But is this the final evolution? Yeah, yeah, it looks dope. Next up, we have Sivir. You're caught. You're on the team. You're adorable. You're on my team. It evolves into Shibby. Yeah, on the team. Yo, the design is so cool. And it's so precious. Yo, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I like, I like this a lot. And next we have Alpin being an ice hedgehog or porcupine. This looks dope. I like Alpine. I love Alpine. Next we have Iqui Isaquil. Isaquil looks dope. Big, big vibes of Alolan Sandshrew. Big, big vibes of Alolan Sandshrew. 
Next up, we have ourselves, ooh, a dolphin? A mystical dolphin? Splastro. Yo. And it has like little cosmic stars in it. It evolves into, ooh, Dymafin, a water psychic type. This thing looks beast. And because I have the fire type, you're going on the team. I love the additional stars and the galaxy. Yo, yo, you really outdid yourself with this design. This is, yo, this is incredible. Next up we have Saber, <laughs> or Seaber. Seaber being a water steel type, that's super dope. It evolves into Bronfish. I love the sword aesthetic. Looks super cool. Can run, this actually is a good typing too. Steel water, I like it a lot. Next we have the Shark. The shark being a ghost and water type, okay, it has the kelp on it. It's like, a, yo, that's cool because when you when you hop in the water, like it's just a tree floating. No, that's not a tree. That's a shark. You know, that's super cool. That's super cool. And then uh, it looks like that one is going to be a Pokemon order specific Pokemon. And then we'll have Cran Curse being a ghost and water type, which must be oh, it has a skull on the top. That's clean. As it's gonna be the Pokemon Chaos specific Pokemon. Perfect. The next up we have Get Color. Get Color. Okay. This thing can it change typings? Can it can it add on a new typing? That would be dope. An ability which adds on typings. I love it. Ooh, chromeleon. Yo. Again, these colors are vibrant. They're, they're sharp. They catch your eye. And look at him. He looks like a beast. I can imagine this thing with very high special defense and defense, decent special attack, decent attack, and decent health. You know, like this thing would not be super fast, but yo, that's dope. Next we have Lima Ring on the team, 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 on the team. Lima Ring looks dope. Lima Ring looks dope. As it turns into, oh, Elik Murray, yes sir. This looks incredible. It actually has an idea for one of the designs that I have for one of my Pokemon. Yo, this looks incredible. This looks incredible. Yo, that's cool. Next up we have Pirat, being a dark and flying type of your parrot Pokemon. And next we have a Cap, uh, or Capriot, or wait, Capriot? Capriot? It's like Captain, Pirate, Capriot, Capriot? I'm gonna say Capriot, hopefully I got that right. Dark and flying, I, I like the slash. So for anyone who is a big, you know, pirate type guy or, or, or gal, you know what I'm saying? This is perfect, this is perfect for you. The next up we have Vasol. This is a huge region, by the way. There's a lot of Pokemon. We have Vasol, and we also have Sandua, which is the optimistic form. So this thing has two forms. Uh, well, this is a different Pokemon. My bad. This is a rock and a ghost type. Vasol looks dope. I like it. Reminds me of, like Gengar almost in a way, right? Or uh, Kafugiris, or is it Kafugrigus? Kafugrigus. I think that's how you say it actually. Uh, Sandua, the optimist form. This looks. Great, ground and fairy, which is super unique. We don't have that typing. And it's actually cool because it looks like the, the good is at the top smiling and grinning and we have the bad at the bottom like just being sucked in. And then it switches. This is the pessimistist form still being a ground and fairy type. This is cool. This is cool. I like this. I'm surprised you didn't make this a ground and dark type though, but I like it a lot. Next we have Sorug. Yo, Sorug, it looks dope. Psychic flying, this is pretty much like Aladdin right here. This is Aladdin all day, every day. I love it. Magic carpet. Then we have the bunny, who is a water type bunny. Uh, we have Delivery. <laughs> Delivery. Delivery, the delivery bird Pokemon. Psychic, I mean, sorry, fairy and flying. This looks dope. This looks really cool. I like this design a lot. This one's really dope. Then we have a Gr Grimler? Grimlier? Grimlier. Grimlier being a dark type little gremlin Pokemon. I like it a lot. Oh, this is the pseudo. This is the pseudo. This is the pseudo right here. We have mistake, 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 mistake. Yo, I just can't get over the design. Gra Dragon Fairy. This is the typing I'm working on for my own game. That is awesome. That is awesome. You're on the team. It evolves into Majestic. Yo, Majestic looks incredible. We have yo little yo little yo little Bolt Bolta like a cheetah. Bolta, 
Yo, I love it. And then we have Hita. What? Fire Electric? The last form is crazy then. Yeah. Th Yo, Thunder. Thunder. The Fire Electric Cheetah Pokemon. That thing looks crazy. It looks like its tail can reach like, you know, 700 degrees or something. I don't know. That thing is crazy. Next up we have Larvin. Larvern being a bug type. Is this still turned to a dragon? Yo, Dracoon. What'd I say? What'd I say? Yo! Beetle Moth? Beetle Moth? Beetle Moth. Okay. Beetle Moth. Or Beetle Moth. That's a better way to say it, I guess. Bug Dragon. Okay. Godzilla vibes. Moth vibes. Oh! What'd I say? What'd I say? And we have Beaker Moth. Bug and Dragon. Right there. That's it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love it. I love it so much. It looks great. It looks phenomenal. Next up we have, ooh, no, you're the pseudo. You're the pseudo. This right here being Legon. This is dope. Dragon Steel, really great typing. Next up we have, ooh, Sovrage. Sovrage looks awesome as well. Very bulky, very strong. And then last but not least we have, ooh, Akrain. Yo, this thing looks like a monster. Yeah. This a whole vibe. This a whole vibe. It looks super dope, and that's actually gonna round it off of the main Pokédex, but let's check out them fossils. Akrain. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, we have two different choices for these fossil-type Pokémon. This one being Brazor, and this one looks freaking dope. It has like a little sunstone for the item. I think that's super dope. Um, and being a rock and fire type, super unique typing, going back to the traditional, you know, forms of Pokemon. I like this one a lot. As it evolves into Spinazir, and Spinazir, again, you can see the energy flowing through it. It looks incredible. I like this a lot. And if you don't choose this one, we have the other starter. This one being Sor wait, uh, Sorobrim. Sorobrim? Sorobrim? Hope I'm saying it right. Being a rocket psychic type, I love the little, you know, star aesthetics on it, or aesthetics on it. It evolves into, ooh, this was a really tough name. Memembrin? Memembrin? Hopefully, Memembrin? Hopefully I'm saying that right. And again, I love the galaxy type aesthetic on it with the psychic types. It's, yo, a huge inspiration. There's so many things he pulls from, from the from the African and Egyptian culture. I'm not too well versed in it. I know a couple things, but not too much. But I want to show you guys something that you guys will love even more than the fossils. The regional forms. Yo, I know you guys are about to go crazy. You see it on the screen. We have Ferrachu. The evolution of Pikachu in this region. A brand new variant, really reminiscent of uh, Alolan Raichu. This being Ferrachu, an electric ghost type. Another very, 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 very unique typing in the world of Pokemon. I love it. I love it. I love it. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Well, electric ghost is actually... Uh, Rotom, but it's still pretty unique because not many Pokemon have that typing. Next up, we're going to have Mummion for everyone who wants to have a ghost type evolution. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. And it has like the all seeing eye. Yo, this is incredible. This is incredible. Next up, we have ourselves Hippopotas or Hippopotas. You already know this. You already know this Pokemon, right? Turns itself from a ground type to a water and grass type. It looks great i like it it's really adjusted to that region really well and it evolves into ooh, hippos who uh, a hippoasis hippoasis that looks super cool it's just chilling it's vibing in the water it's sitting relaxing this looks super cool this actually looks super cool i like this a lot the next up we have a brand new form a lawaken form for rhyhorn from being its standard ground type to being a really cool ghost and fire type. It looks like it's being stripped of its rock typing. It's going just, you know, it's actual bones and its horn is turned into a fire horn. That is super cool. As it evolves into, who Riferno. That looks dope. That thing is gonna be an absolute truck of a ghost type Pokemon. Next up, we have Lewekin Nummel, who's gotten used to the desert, and this actually makes a lot of sense. Of course, regular Nummel is fire and ground. This one's going to be rock and ground. This looks incredible as well, turning into, whoa, Camerile. And Camerile looks amazing as well. Um, again, fitting the Campbell aesthetic. This, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. This looks great. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Anubrios? Like Lucario, Anubrios? What is this? Ghost and fighting? He's back home in his origins. 
Okay. Besides my starter, right here. Right here. On the team. Yo, this looks phenomenal. A ghost fighting type. It's stripped and but steel form and went back to its roots. This thing looks like straight up Anubis, God power. Yes. Next up, we have ourselves a brand new form of Drapion being Syracu, uh, Sir oh wait, 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 yo, Sir Queen. This right here is dope. It's like a queen scorpion being a poison fairy type, very unique typing, something we don't have. Yo, I love it. Of course, and there, there is no regional Pokedex if you don't have a regional Meowth. That's just it. You have to have the regional Meowth. You have to have it. So we have regional Meowth being a grass type, which looks really chill, man. It looks really chill. And it evolves into Lewakin Persian, who also looks really dope. It kind of gives off almost like that black uh, Jaguar uh, jungle book kind of vibe. I like this. I like this a lot. Then we have Sprinty, which goes from a standard fairy type to enduring the heat of the Egyptian and African weather, turning into a fire type. I love it. As it evolves into, yo, Floringo? Floringo? This looks dope. It has to know some kind of water move, though, in my opinion. This looks super dope. Way better than its standard evolution. So this is fantastic. Next, we have Slugma, which has been corroded down to poison from all that fire. It evolves into Macargo, the Wicked Form, which is pretty much like sludge. It's poisonous steel type. There's a tire in the back. It looks gross, and it fits really well. Next, we have... <gasps> Yo, yo, excuse me, excuse me. Yo, this is Ice Cube, one of my favorite Pokemon I love in the Galar region. I love this Pokemon so much. And look, it turns into a straight up water type. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, this is incredible. It evolves. No, it just has the form where it pops the bubble. Yo, this is dope. This is dope. My water type, my water type, my water type, my water type, my water type. I love its ability so much. I love its ability so much. And this could actually work, do the same ability, but switch it. Instead of physical move, it's special attacking moves. It's perfect. All right. Whoa. Arcanine. Lewakin form. A Lewakin form. Fire and ice. Todoroki, your Pokemon is here. This is dope. I don't know what to say. I just want to stare at it. Dude. That's dope. Next we have Mighty Yenna turning into a dark and fairy. Yes, yes, yes. Really clowny though. Really clowny. But yes, I love it. It looks great. Then we have Tauros who gets the fire typing. I love it. It has like the, yeah, yeah. This is incredible. Really, really dope. Which means if, if, if Tauros got one, right? Milk Tank got one too. Yes, sir. Being a grass type. So, of course, being the weakness right there. You know, you know, the, you know, the, yeah, I love it. I love these. I love both of these. They're fantastic. Milk Tank and Tauros. Next, whoa! Buffalo got one too? Yo! So, you give us the trifecta here. Fire, Tauros, grass, Milk Tank, Buffalo, water. Let's go. It makes sense for the Buffalo, right? Yes. Start. Whoa. What is that? It's like a plant creature. We have Staryu who evolves into Star Me with the grass and sidekick. That, that's different. I like the Staryu. The Star Me is a little weird, but I like it still. Next we have Seal being a water normal type. A little, little basic, I like it. Turns into Dugong, also being water normal. And then we have, whoa, who, who, who gets a nice icy breeze. That is cool, that is cool. I like that. It turns into Noctowl, which looks super dope. I feel like I've seen this art before somewhere, but this looks incredible. Ice and flying, I think fits Noctowl super, like, super well. And it, I feel like if it did get like a regional form, it should be ice and flying. I think it fits well. Next up is Mudbray being a steel type. I love the hair. I actually really like Mudbray. So this actually is really awesome. Turning from a ground type to a steel type. Maybe it's, you know, it, it got really mixed up with a whole bunch of like earthly metals and stuff in the, in the, you know, in the, you know, Egyptian region, Egyptian African region of Laweka. And then of course we have Mudsdale who is a really clean looking. Yeah, look at that steed. Yes. Then we have, whoa, unknown gets a new form. Renown. Yo. Okay, I like that. 
And of course, of course, it, of course, it, you, you gotta have some kind of evolution of Dunsparce. We have Dunbros, who is kind of based off of the, uh, I forget the official name of it, but like this, yeah, that's perfect. I love the form of it. I love the form. I love the form so much. Next up we have, ooh, Obleps, Olepsis, Obelis, I can't say this name right now, but it looks cool. It's pretty much, uh, you know, Lunatone, Soul Rocks, brand new form. And of course it gets one as well. So there's a Lunar form, which is based off of, you know, Lunatone, Sun form based off, yo, it's, oh, the, the, the other thing is taking the face. Yo, that, that's, that's smart. I liked it a lot. And that's actually gonna do it for all the regional forms. Last but not least, we're gonna dive into a couple of the characters that you guys are gonna see within your journey. And then, yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. This, yo, all these regional forms, A++. Let's check out some of the characters. All right, guys, as we come to a close for the video, I wanna show you guys some of the characters that you guys are gonna see within your journey and what your character is gonna look like as far as the protagonist. Again, your character is going to be royalty. So of course, they have the official names like any other Pokemon game for Chidi and Anaya. And Anaya and Chidi look phenomenal. I love the drip, the design, and it really plays into the culture of Africa and some things of Egypt as well. As you're gonna see Professor Bobab, and hopefully I'm saying his name right. Hopefully I did, I'm, I do apologize if I said his name wrong. I love the design, and again, this professor is gonna be one of the antagonists of the game, and your uncle as well. Next up, you're gonna see his assistant being Noah, and Noah's gonna be rocking that mummy on. Yo, I love his design. It reminds me of Alistair from Pokemon um, Xenoverse as well. Looks super dope. And of course, you're gonna have the champion, which I'm not gonna lie, kinda even looks like your boy a little bit. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. This, this this gives me also huge, like, you know, you know, and rest his soul, Chowick Bozeman, Black Panther, you know, T'Challa vibes, you know. This this looks inc incredible. Champion Akene, hopefully I said his name right. It looks he looks dope. He looks super dope. I love it. I love it. If you want to put me in the game, if you want to put me in the game, you know, similar haircut, I, you know, I rock more of a flat top though, little curly joint, and, and give me a white outfit, I'll take it. I'll take it all day. And then of course, you'll be introduced to Team Pyramid, and then these are what some of the grunts are going to look like for the game, so that way you can kind of see what they look like as well. And some of the gym leaders you may encounter on your journey, like Zola, uh, Davu and Amunet, which I just, yes sir, which looks incredible as well. And there's many other things coming to this Pokemon game as well. And also I wanna show off Colin. It looks super cool. You got the drip as well, I like it. And guys, that is going to do it for Pokemon Chaos and Pokemon Order and the Loweka region overall. Now I didn't show the legendary forms as I believe this game is still being worked on or this region is still being worked on and could possibly become a game, but do not hold me to that. But this African Egyptian based region is amazing this is phenomenal and, and easily one of the favorite ones i've done here on the channel and hopefully you guys think that as well so i want you guys to please leave a like on this video leave a like on this video let me know your favorite designs in the comments down below and tell me another one i should check out next i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking for an indian based region i know i have a huge indian fan base so i want to find you guys a region but no one's really making a really clean one that i have seen so far uh, but let me know if you find one i'll reach out to the artist i always reach out to the artist first before i do these videos so these take time guys these take heck of time so be patient leave a like on the video show me that you guys want more of this content i'll see all of you guys next time thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later bye